All right, look, it's on. All right, everybody. Okay, okay. Here's box two. So of case two. Um, so I was gonna rip one last night because I was in the mood. I went up and mentioned that to my fiance, and she did not agree. So there we go. So I went to bed. But now, hey, as she pointed out this morning, that's more boxes to rip today. She's like, see, see what I did there for you? It's like, yeah, okay. I have to admit, she is great. All right, so box two. Um, went and swooped the case from Scott Calvert. Great guy. Great prices. Always has. Um, new stock. Um, usually has it like right on release day, which I really like. Um, I can literally run by and grab it from him. Um, he also ships, which is pretty cool to people that aren't close. So I always got to give him a shout out because, again, good people, good business. I want to mention them. All right. Get these packs out of here. Actually, let's just do it this way. Ooh, look at how cool that looks. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and these inserts again. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever really noticed them, but so basically it's just flat cardboard thing, right? But they are kind of cool. Um, one per collector's box. I have not seen the insides of the hobby boxes to see if they have them or not. Um, but uh, I keep forgetting about these. I was going to list a couple of them for, I don't know, a couple of bucks. I just don't know how to ship them. I don't know how to ship them flat. Get like a big old envelope or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, oh, hey, where's my other... Should have another stand out here. Oh, it's hiding in the back because, you know, got to line up all those hits. All right, let's see what our trading card game is first. Oh, that's right. I got to be really careful with these. I'm really liking this start the rip down the back. And I can grab the corner. Save that. And then come up the other side. Save that, and cards are out. And then we maintain the pack. Put that right over there. Really looking for some atom bomb. I don't know why the hell. Yeah, I just said hell. Um, he's so hard to find. It's my last case. I had one in the entire case, which is like, come on, man. That's getting a little ridiculous. All right, let's get rolling. And again, try to be careful. Did not realize that as many people collected these packs as they do. And let's see, the last uh, box was really weird. We ended up with a bunch of uh, game over and board to board game cards. Um, where's my list? No, I need 26, 27, 34. Um, and no like colored cards. Uh, didn't have our. Uh, autograph or anything like that so it's kind of a weird box and we ended up with a green patch um, a king kong kim kong sorry oh. yep, this one's a goner <laughs> i tried it is not letting me open this my goodness tops come on here please destroy your cards while you're opening them what the heck? Glue much? Like, save yourself a couple of bucks. Don't put so much. Wow. Can't even get the cards out. That's in the trash pile. I think got munched. Yeah, I think a whole lot of nada. And, yep. And then just good old 54. Hope this isn't one of those bot or uh, cases that they talk about where there's like nada in it. Because that last one I had was actually pretty nice. Uh, sketch card is really cool. I'm really loving that sketch card still. I don't think that's going to end up being sold. That would be mine. We'll see. Jeez. Yeah, usually when your black card is that far down, you don't have much behind it. Oh, okay, we have one. have our uh, game over card, so that'll work. That's really far back. Usually you want your uh, black card to be up towards the front. Which means something good's back there. Uh, 
These are my eyes. I can't see where the ledge is. There we go. But yeah, I was really surprised. Uh, I watched a rip last night of um, a bunch of blaster boxes. And man, I think it was in one case of blaster boxes. There was, I think, four hits. I mean, which just doesn't seem like much to me. I know the blasters are a lot cheaper, but still, it's like, come on, man, that's a lot. And it looks like possibly just base. Yeah, base again, 32. Nope, 34 is the one we need. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where my hand is going. There we go, get a nice tear. Come on. Let me have my cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, see, this is way better when you see your black card is your second one. This is usually indicative of something back here. So let's just take a look. Yep, good old um, messed up Mario. That's always a good one. I love that card. Uh, that was one of the ones I saw in the preview that I was like, yes, I want it. But yeah, I haven't quite decided. I think um, as opposed to the color variations, you know, like the rose gold and the red and stuff like that, I think I would much actually rather have these. Um, they're only in collector's boxes. So out of all your hobbies and blasters and Walmarts and nope, none of that, none of that will have this set. This is the only one. But then everybody's going to have a color variation. So, yeah, the black obviously looks cool. Things pop. But if you, you know, your favorite color is blue, like some people, maybe you'd rather go with the blue set. Hey, there you go. There's another second spot black card. So we like that. See what we get. Mo cart. Love it. And just a... Verify that everything else is regular. Yes, it is. And a little fight. No, 34. Getting close. I'm really, really hoping that I'll be able to make a black set after this. I mean, what would be the odds of the eight missing from the first box would be the exact same missing from the second box? Yeah, I can't believe the patches are the same odds as the autos. I mean, to me, any any day I will take an autograph over a patch. I mean, a patch is a patch, but an autograph, like especially live signed, you're not finding those as much anymore. You're finding that. Ooh, there's a red one. You're finding the tape everywhere, and I I don't. What the heck is tape gonna? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. That's pretty cool. It's the first red we got out of this, and then, of course our black right behind it. Double check that nothing else is in there. Nope. All right. But yeah, usually we get um, reds and rose golds. So it was really weird to not uh, get any out of the last box at all. And you know what I'm going to do? I know these are a little bit older, but I don't, I've been having all uh, 59 points. I don't have any regular size ones anywhere, so I have to recycle, reuse and recycle. Here in Oregon, muy importante. Yep, that's it. I am very fluento in this spanel. No, I actually do like Spanish. All right. So, yeah, another red? That's crazy to see two reds back to back. That never happens. Maybe it's making up for last box. Because last box was not our friend. Good old Carrie Kutcher. Really wish this um, would have been Dice. It would have been cool to see him in a red. And 55. Yep, shooting Larry. Hold the China. Um... Yeah, it's so weird to get two back to back. I got one more sleeve. Yeah, and I gotta open a new pack. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I usually use these a little bit older ones. Um, penny sleeves for uh, 
Oh, that one's got something on it. Uh, for kind of just setting underneath cards, so cards don't have to like touch the table. They at least always touch like the plastic surface. Um, didn't actually think I was going to need them anymore. I thought that we were pretty much done with that. Uh, give me one second. I'll show you how I my little nifty trick on these things. If I can find the seam. Where is that seam? There it is. So I grab this thing, right? And it's sticky right there. So you do a roll halfway and then a roll again. And now it just holds it back and I can just set it down. And it's like, oh, you can't see that. Well, whatever. You can trust me that I can now access penny sleeves much easier. Okay, let's keep going then. Yeah, I penny sleeve all the blacks too after the videos. And so I've been going through a ton of penny sleeves. Forget an extra 200 thrown in there just for your black cards. But it will be cool to have a black set. Um, I'm, you know, there's people out there who have them for sure, but definitely not many. Oh, I was like, is there no black card in there? That would be weird. All right, let's see. Yep, it matches our other one. And I think it's just going to be base. Yes. Getting better. Yeah, the other thing I want to do is I want to get some of these extra cards and make uh, the puzzle pieces into like kind of a display or something like that. That'd be kind of fun. All right. So, yep, just base, 33, no, 34 AB, that's what I need. And I even need 35 A, so we're just right there. Hey, there we go. There's a uh, board of board games, Sneaky Sully. Yep, 5 B, love it. It's amazing how... Uh, the board of board games is a smaller set and obviously way more coveted, but I actually really like the game over personally. The game over is what I really came to this like set for and why I even went specifically to um, collector's boxes because that was the only box that had that set. I was like, I don't even care what it is. I, that's, that's what I'm interested in. And it was kind of cool that uh, they were available. Yeah, I'm just go through our base cards. I'm not going to go through them as, Slowly, as I guess quickly, as slowly as I have before, because we've seen a lot of them now. We're getting used to the cards a little bit. The kind of newness is wearing off. There's good old Fisher Price. I believe that was good old Dave Gross. Yep. Hey, there's a gray, which sucks. Maybe it'll be an Andrew Dice. I've been looking for him for somebody. There's a guy who's looking for some of those. Got a little 33A and 70. And nothing else in there. All right. Yeah, the whole last case, I think I ended up with three grays, one rose gold, and is either 12 or 13 reds. Can't remember now. Yeah, why not? But we got some plastic around here. And get that going. All right. Put that on the side. Well, at least this one's more exciting than the last one. Um, again, I, I really like the Game Over cards, I, the cards that were in it, but it was also, I feel like, kind of a boring box. Didn't have much variation in it. Ended up with kind of the same thing. Keep looking and make sure there's no, like, autos, because they do sneak up on you. Um, a lot of the other series, like you can feel the thickness of the card or you can almost feel in the pack that something there, but these are all the same other than the patches, which are, you know, take up the spot of, I believe like four cards, I think, or five maybe, um, cause they're huge. Yeah. It's hoping for something in there. Oh, there's good old base frog hunter. There's a guy looking for him too. Nope. Yep, just a base pack. PJ Party. 
Yeah, I was really surprised these base sets were selling as much as they have been as well. I just kind of figured, eh, it's nice to spread them out, put just a cheap price on them. I think I have 20 bucks. No, 25. 25, sorry. 25 shipped for base sets. And I didn't realize that uh, with 200 cards, man, it kicks up to shipping. So, uh, but that's all right. I like it. It's like 83. A little splash ash. There should be something in here. No? No. Huh. Yeah, with the placement of that black card, I was kind of just thinking there might be something. We should still have our hit, though. Really hoping it's an autograph. Please, no more patches. So I keep looking at the side as we open these things to see if there's some thick, solid blob. A.K.A. the patch. Yeah, I thought I was going to sell my gold patch, but nah. Um, yeah. Good. Oh, good ones in there. I love the art on all that. Looks like another base pack. Yeah, we need a Andy Fibian or Frog Hunter. That's another good one. It's really good art. Come on, where is our hit? That is funny. I've even been down to the last pack and had the auto be in there. Which is always kind of fun. Because then you're like really guessing the entire time. Yeah. yeah, there's good old Fisher Price. Yep, yeah, come on. Come on, where's our awesome auto? It's in here. It's weird how much color was in that one box. I keep looking over there going, geez, two, that is two reds. That feels thick for some reason. Of course, I say that all the time. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll keep it G-rated. I'll keep it G-rated. Let's see here. That's a good 83. And who the hoop? Nope, just base. Hmm. Man, they're really going to make us hold on here. Get down to the wire. Six left. Where is it? Just don't be a patch. Just be something great, like a super refractor. Isn't that a song? I think I heard that on the radio. Uh, is that a kid to play? No. Jeez. Um, 84. I thought that was uh, going to be something hiding in there. Do, 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 do. Whoa. As I start throwing packs around. Definitely not a patch, so we're good. And bases, that's a good one. I always like that T Patty one. Tommy Tooth, 53. And yeah, base again. Yeah, they are really going to make us wait, aren't they? That's okay. That's okay. We played a long game. We're still here. I really like that one, too. That I would love to get in an autograph. I would love that one in an autograph. Andy Fibian. There it is. There's our wacky pack. Anything else? No. I keep forgetting that we get a wacky pack in every um, box as well. Start getting down there, and it's like, well, what do we have left? It's like, oh, yeah, wacky pack. Yeah, I ended up with a full set. I, pretty, I hope they do full set per case. Because that's kind of messed up if you don't. Just saying. But yeah, last case I did it up with a full pack. Um, yeah, I did. It's like, did I plastic this thing? Yeah, I did. Get that thing going. Um, yeah. Too bad for you, Gray. Well, we should still have a hit. Uh, three packs left. And not a patch. Come on. Let it out. Let it out. Let that emotion out. Huh. Looks like it could be base again. There's Frog Hunter. That's so great. Love that. Yeah, base again. <laughs> uh -huh. You are really getting down there. Okay. Okay, I see how you what you're doing here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Ooh, look at how that one opened. It's been a long time since I've seen one actually open that nicely. 
No patch. That's a good thing. Feels kind of thick. Possibility. Uh, fourth spot could be an option. No. Thought that might be. Um, 84 Dark Gunner. Regular Vex. Alright, so it has to be in here. Not a patch. Uh, that's a gold. That's why. No auto. So the gold, I guess, is considered a hit. Well, it's a gold in the one. <gasps> Holy shit. Is, oh, my God. Right at the beginning of this, I said, man, if I could get that in an auto, I would be stoked. But a gold auto? Holy smokes. Smoking Joe, brother. 15 of 50. Yes. I didn't realize that was one of yours. Well, yeah, sorry. That one is not going to be for sale. Like, ever. Damn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jeez. Smoking Joe, brother. Brother from another mother. And you know the drill. I do put these in 59 pointers. Yeah, it might not be as tight on it, but um, honestly, it also doesn't put any pressure on the card. Uh, I noticed that just with the plastic in there, um, the penny sleeve, uh, it actually holds it snug so the card doesn't actually you know fly around. If you were going to ship it, I don't know. I think I would probably go with a regular penny or a regular top loader because it would be a little more snug. You're guaranteed it's not going anywhere. And at that point, sorry, let me just move these out of the way. Another Andrew Dice. Sorry, I am just, I, that really threw me off. I, again, there's only a few autographs that I was really looking for. That was one of them right there. Um, is that already? Yeah, it is. Oops, sorry. Um, and then to hit the one that I really want, and then also be a gold auto. Oh, man. Smoking Joe, man. You are legit. That's a pretty insane little box there. Yeah, let's do hit parade on that one. So Smoking Joe, gold auto, 15 of 50. We did have two reds. Um, Carrie Couture and Clay Claw. We had a 59 of 75 and a 31 of 75. Then we ended up with a gray, which was an 88 to 199 poppy it. Our uh, wacky pack. And then the normal amount here, where we have one board of board games and three game over. All right, anyway, see you for next box.